Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Today we are talking about medical coding of neoplasms. Neoplasms. When I say neoplasm, as you know in medical terminology, that means new or abnormal growth. In ICD 10 CM, neoplasms are classified to categories C00 through D49. Now, in order to properly code neoplasms, it's necessary to determine from the medical record if the neoplasm is benign, in situ, malignant, or of an uncertain histologic behavior. Now, if it is malignant and it spreads, you need to be able to identify any secondary or any metastatic sites. You also also have to be able to determine that. So again, in order to properly define a neoplasm, you need to be able to understand the histologic behavior. So let's look at each one of these. Now when I say a neoplasm is malignant, malignant tumors are tumor cells that extend beyond the primary site, attaching themselves to adjacent structures or spreading to different sites. They are known to cause relentless growth and are difficult to cure. So when these tumors spread, this is called metastasis. Those are malignant tumors, bad. They destroy. In situ tumors are tumor cells of malignant changes but are still confined to the point of origin without invasion into surrounding normal tissues. So what's happening with in situ neoplasms, they're bad, they're malignant cancer or malignant tissue, but they're staying confined. They tend to be in a circular or in a round um, invasive type circle, but they don't spread. And malignant neoplasms tend to spread but when it's malignant and it's in situ and it's staying in that one spot, that's how you know the difference between a regular malignant neoplasm and an in situ neoplasm. Okay? And in benign, benign tumors are tumor cells that are not invasive, so they're not spreading to either adjacent or distant sites. Most benign tumors are cured by a total excision. When you remove it, it's gone. They may cause local effects, such as some type of displacement because it's a growth that's growing, pressure on an adjacent structure, impingement on a nerve, or compression of a vessel, and therefore may require surgery. So it's a new growth that's come up that could cause problems because the growth is there, but it's not destroying the tissue and it doesn't tend to spread. Those are benign. And then tumor cells that are of uncertain behavior. A tumor cell that cannot be determined at the time that they are discovered and there are a firm distinction between, because there is a firm distinction between benign and malignant tumors, these can't be determined at this current time. So those are considered uncertain behavior. And then the other area that you need to be able to understand is unspecified. Now category D49 is provided for those situations in which neither the behavior nor the morphology of the neoplasm is specified in the diagnostic statement or elsewhere in the medical record. These types of tumors are usually referred to as a growth, a neoplasm, or a tumor because again, the behavior is unspecified. Doesn't mean it's not a malignant or not a benign, it's just not specified at this current time, okay? So you must be able to locate the tumor cell's behavior, whether on a pathology report, that's where I tend to go and look at any, like they do a lot of endoscopic type procedures and they remove these neoplasms or these polyps that they found. Look at the path report. That'll help you in your documentation, um, looking for something documented in the chart that determines the behavior of the neoplasm, the 
the path report or somewhere else in the medical record to accurately code it. Now, unspecified mass or lesion, and I notice I'm calling it mass or lesion. When the diagnosis refers to a mass or a lesion of a particular site, look under the main term mass or lesion. He didn't say neoplasm, he didn't say benign or malignant or in situ, he said mass or your physician said mass or lesion. So as a coder, that's what we'd look up. Now when I said earlier the morphology of a new growth, when I say morphology, morphology of neoplasms refers to the form and structure of tumor cells. The goal is to classify a neoplasm by its tissue or origin. The tissue of origin and the type of cell that make up a malignant neoplasm often determines the expected rate of growth, severity of the illness, and the type of treatment given. Metastatic neoplasms are identified at the metastatic site, but their morphology, which is different from the normal tissue at that site, but it's the same as the primary site. So that's how they know when it's metastasized, because a lot of times you'll find a cancer at a metastatic site. Now that tissue, morphology, type of tissue, matches the tissue at the primary site. That's how they know it's metastasized. There's a difference in the um, morphology of the tissue. A tumor registry is a cancer data system that provides follow-up on all cancer patients. A tumor registry documents and stores all major aspects of patients' cancer history and treatment. The tumor registry database includes demographics, medical history, diagnostic findings, primary site met metastasis, histology, stage of the disease, treatments, any reoccurrence, any subsequent treatment, and in results. So when you hear about a tumor registry, they are tracking, that tumor registry tracks cancer patients. And from tumor registries, whether you believe it or not, they've learned the different types of tissues in neoplasms, the morphology, the histo his tissue is histology, the type of tissue and what route best treats. Because a lot of times with different types of cancer, you wonder, are they going to do chemo? Are they going to do radiation? Are they going to excise it? How do they know what's the best route? They've learned from tumor registries and what types of treatment have treated past histology or morphology of the neoplasm. Based on that tumor registry um, data, they've learned what types of treatment better treat different types of cancers or neoplasms. So I thought that was interesting. Cancer, regist a cancer registrar is a person or a professional that ensures timely, accurate, and complete data are maintained on all types of cancer diagnoses and or treated within a healthcare institution or within a defined population. These data are then used to inform a wide variety of public health decisions and provide rich information for cancer diagnoses, treatment, and prevention programs. So if you're interested in putting your coding knowledge of cancer to work in a setting that primarily focuses on cancer, go to my other YouTube channel. You guys, I've started a second YouTube channel called Medical Coder Life, all one word, Medical Coder Life. What I'm going to do on that site is I want to solely dedicate Codemaster Coach to teaching medical coding. But on that second channel, I plan to interview. I have placed a call on yesterday to a, the tumor registry in my, at my local regional hospital to try to set up an appointment to meet with the tumor registrar there. And I want to video and talk to her so that I can show you what exactly a tumor registrar does. And that's the goal of that channel is to show you a day in the life of a coder. I want to talk to you about why I have two monitors on my desk instead of one. Um, how I had to wire this office in order to prepare to do coding from home. Um, I've got a bunch of ideas. Um, so when you get a chance, 
go to that second channel, Medical Coder Life, and subscribe there so you don't miss a video. I've got two videos up there now, but um, I plan to, again, interview coders so that you can see exactly what a coder does. And based on this neoplasm coding, I'm looking at cancer registry right now, and I'm going to interview the cancer registry person there and show you exactly how they maintain this database on the different types of cancer, how the patient's been treated, what's been the success rate, what has been the um, deterioration rate, what types of cancer, how do we track cancers, how do we take care of it. So again, go to uh, Medical Coder Life at your earliest convenience and we'll finish talking about that. But in my next video, I'll be discussing how to locate codes for neoplasms, okay? So this week, I need you to go back and look up as much information. Remember I told you to apply yourself in these um, videos as I'm doing them. Understand the difference between benign and malignant, in situ, unspecified and uncertain behavior. Because if you'll take time this week and look at the neoplasm table, you're going to have to distinguish between each. You're going to have to know the difference between each. All right, guys? Okay, if that's it, um, this is volume, hmm, volume 8, Medical Coding of Neoplasms. I do have some exercises on this um, volume for cancers, neoplasms, talking about the difference between malignant and benign, unspecified, in situ, and un, um, uncertain behavior. So if you want a transcript, email me at codemastercoach at gmail.com and request volume 8. So again, we're going to be moving on. This is going to take about three videos to cover neoplasms, but we're going to get there, guys. All right, thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.